I seen the sprints. I was like, oh yeah, he's different. Hey, he's, he's different. he is different. All right, bad. What we got? Start with 500 on the rope. What's up? How many? 500 on the rope. 500. Yep. All right, 500. It is. I don't have time for the waste man jokes Personal thing if I'm getting up close Loyal to Oaks, I've taken an old Versace hotel and I'm taking a road I've never had a jump for 500 times Relax as they're taking control Take all that up with P and his bro I wish you the best, let me know how it goes Let's get a little, um You gonna put some bands on? Sweet Get a little hip flexor Cat Glute Yep Activation, then we'll get going Dorsey flex the toes, squeeze yep. the knee, three by 15. Turn to our side. Yep. Same thing. That last one felt good. I think the last felt better than the second. Exactly. I was, I was, I was warm. I was like, man, this last one feels way better. Let's go dynamic. Let's do it. We'll start down here. Back. Start with track stretch. Heel toe scoop. In the, in, the, in the middle, take the little two, two step jog. Once I get to the two. middle? Yep, one, Back. two. In between two. So once you do two, boom, boom, back into it. Back. Back. Ready? Yep. I need. So you growing up, what was the dream? Uh, my dream, bro. I'm gonna tell you, honestly, I grew up homeless in Houston. So doing one of those experiences, I seen a rocket game, and it was showing how. Uh, Steve Francis, how he came from poverty. And um, I think we were staying in Star Hope Shelter at the time. And that motivated me from there. Uh, I started wearing the number three. And I just wanted to. And what was number three? Steve Francis' number. Oh, okay. Because okay, okay. I saw how he had. I was watching the Rockets game. And uh, we had literally just lost our apartment. So we got evicted. And uh, we was, my mom was basically trying to figure out where we were going to stay. And we ended up getting in the Star Hope shelter, so we're staying there. And I ended up seeing a Rockets game that Steve Francis was showing his story, his backstory, and how basically how he ended up making it and getting his family out of poverty. And so that motivated me, bro. 100%. That was, that was, and that's all you woke up man, thinking every day? Every day. Every it day. wasn't anything else but sport? Nothing but sport. Was it basketball or football? Basketball. I didn't play football until college. I, I went junior college. When I went junior college, so out of high school, I had the heart surgery. And then when I, when I was like, okay, I'm gonna play ball again, I went to a D2. Ended up uh, making a team. And when I was supposed to come back the next semester, a few, few of the players there were like, bro, you should go JUCO or go D1. You should be at a D1. So I literally left, bro. And when I went JUCO, I played basketball at Trinity Valley. Ended up making it there. My brother gets drafted. That very next semester, I switched to the City Cop San Francisco to play football. Did six months there, we went to the National Championship. And from there, got recruited by New Mexico State. Um, did three years at New Mexico State, so that was really so it. So your brother, he was a role model. I mean, he, my brother was he my helped brother pay that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I started looking up to my brother the way that I looked at yeah. Steve Francis because yeah. of the positivity. And then when my brother gets drafted, that's all I needed to see. That was the first time I seen. That opened your eyes to something. Oh, you man. said, I'm, I'm there, man. I'll be there. It was the first time I seen someone's dreams become reality. And that let me know that. It only takes seeing it once exactly. to realize exactly. that could be you. Exactly. What ticks you? What gets you going? Bro. Like you wake up, because for me recently it's been a, two or three things, that's it. How I grew up, bro. I'm, a, I'm really a family man, but I was raised with a broken family. So I got to hear my grandma's dreams, my mother's, my dad's, my siblings. Like I said, I've only seen my brother actually take it to that point. And we're, we're talking, talking Dwayne. Dwayne. 
actually taking a dream from being a thought and being a, you know what I'm saying, something you hope for and turn it into reality. For me, fitness is an escape. It's, yeah. it's, it's my peace. Yeah, it's your it's therapy. how I got out of depression. Exactly, my therapy. So every day for me, it's, it's not about me. It's about how can I help someone else. So you're letting this dream inspire other people. 1,000%. And you want to make this as, like as big as you can 1,000%. because you've been in that position 1, before. These are like, this is like a love-hate relationship with these. Oh, I don't know how much I love them. <laughs> Let's get after it. I'm a chip strip style with the matching bracelet. Sweats with the K Swiss. Athletic chick who run track. Hey, miss, plus it's all mine. Please call me. I'm going to be with uh, Nate Ebner and staying at Patrick Trump's house Monday. Nate and I are boys. We're going to go uh, watch Panthers Patriots practice. So it's a Seamoss Energizer Hydrating Recovery Drink. Hell yeah. So, backstory. Is this you? So Thank she you. Created it for Thank me. you. Backstory of Moon Juice when I was growing up in high school. Me and my boys that played ball together, basketball, football. We used to go to HEB and, I mean Kroger and get like the sugar dollar drinks of the colorful uh, yeah. juices. And we used to call it Loon Juice because it would be sugar high. And so growing up being older, I, I needed a name for the drink. So I wanted to create something healthy and give back in a different way. Instead of being sugar high, you get something healthy um, to help you. Uh, have energy, hydrate, yeah. and recover. The CMOS is big right now. Exactly. We're getting after it.